Hey guys, and welcome back to day two of Vlogmas. Today we're going to talk about all the favorites. Let me tell you, I have a lot of favorites for the month of November. They're all kind of scattered around. I have a list of things to go over. I'm gonna try to keep things in a category type thing, but it may not happen. Just bear with me. Ready to dive in? Let's go. <gasps> that was cheesy, but I did it, so we're just gonna go with it. Okay guys, so let's talk about YouTube first. I have a couple YouTube faves I want to share with you. Um, one is April from Getting Huga With It. I'm probably saying Huga wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, April has such a calm vibe about her. All of her videos are just like they chill me out and she's an immediate click every time I see her videos come up. Um, she really focuses on books. It's mainly more like book content, but recently she started talking about home like home decor and things around her house that, that kind of bring her like peace and calmness. Um, she does this like month one where she kind of checks in and she talks about things that she's into and enjoying that month, uh, whatever month it is. And I love them. I love them so much. In fact, I feel like she's really, um, she doesn't know this and this might sound kind of weird, but she's really um, inspired me a lot lately recently she talked about that she was going to do vlogmas and she said it was a very like spur of the spur of the moment decision and I tend to do things like that as well and when I heard her say that I was like you know what I'm gonna do vlogmas too I've wanted to do it for so long and I do make very like sporadic decisions and my life is so crazy right now and the fact that I'm doing this is like nuts to me because it's like the last thing that I need to be focusing on but you're here and I'm here and we're gonna make it happen and April kind of like got that ball rolling a little bit for me even though she's got no clue then recently she was talking about how she went to go see the Nutcracker movie and how much she enjoyed that well I had made my mind up that I was not going to be seeing the movie because the reviews were not that great um, but she really loved it and everybody in the comment section was talking about how magical it was and guess where I ended up that night at the Nutcracker and I did enjoy it it wasn't like it's not the Nutcracker but it's still an enjoyable show to watch that has like touches of the Nutcracker in it and after watching that movie and loving it so much um Okay, I don't didn't love it so much, but loving like the idea of like being around the Nutcracker so much I just I was longing for the ballet. I was wanting the production the music The all of the things that come along when you go and see the Nutcracker ballet and so the next day Where did I find myself at the Nutcracker ballet like completely random? Unplanned um, and those were just some wonderful times I enjoyed both of them and that's all because of little April April talking about how she went to see the Nutcracker. It's just weird how people can affect you and you don't even know. All right, number two is Lauren from Lauren in the Books. She is a newer find for me, but she is another like immediate click whenever she posts stuff. Her account is very book focused as well. I love booktube, guys. Of course I love to read. It's a huge part of my life. I love watching people talk about books, books they enjoyed, books they didn't enjoy. I get a lot of great ideas from booktube. But Lauren from Lauren in the Books talks about other things besides books as well, just like April. Like she kind of includes lifestyle stuff her and her boyfriend live together uh, I don't I don't know exactly where but like London I'm I could be wrong I'm probably wrong I probably shouldn't say that cuz I don't know for sure but they have like the best accents um, and her boyfriend is like the jolliest old soul you've ever seen and they are so cute together I love whenever they do videos together and recently I came across an older one that they did where they sat down and talked about some of their books books that they were enjoying and he brought up this book called the elephant whisperer I've been on the hunt for elephant books random I know but I'm a bit obsessed with these gentle giants and I haven't read this yet but as soon as I came across that video I got on my app and like typed it in my library app and rented it and it's here and I'm ready to dig in like any moment. So thank you, Lauren, even though you probably aren't watching this, for inspiring me. And you too, April. YouTube is wonderful. Okay, let's talk about a show I've been enjoying on Netflix. Um, this one's been around for a while. They have four seasons of it. I think it's a favorite of a lot of people, but I just got back into it recently, and it's called Shit's Creek. It's spelled S-H-I-T-T-S, -T -T I believe. Um, it's a story of a family a woman and her husband and her two grown children are like in their 20s, maybe like uh, probably 20s, like mid 20s, early 30s. And um, the woman in the family is like an ex soap star and they're millionaires. And a long time ago, they purchased Schitt's Creek as a joke because obviously of what it sounds like. And um, fast forward many years later, they lose all of their money. They have nowhere to go but to move 
to Schitt's Creek. So it's kind of their story of this kind of like well-to-do people being humbled a bit and put in this really tiny old country town and kind of like not feeling like they fit in or jive with the people and it's actually kind of beautiful. In the beginning, I really was annoyed by the personalities and how um, superficial and fake and shallow they were. But as you follow along in the show, they learn and they evolve as characters, almost as how characters do in a book. And it becomes more than what it starts out with. And, and the reason I say I came back to it was because I watched like maybe the first season or so or a few episodes and I just didn't love it and so I kind of left it um, but then I keep hearing people talking about it and talking about it so I decided to give it another try and they were right and it's been so good so I'm into the fourth season right now every night when I get into bed I watch a couple episodes and I'm really enjoying it a lot all right have we talked about stuff that's on my list yes are we ready to dig into like the actual products that are around me I have so many get excited I'm excited okay so we'll call this like the beauty category. Let me grab this over here. Recently at Target, I picked up the Petra or Pixie by Petra eyeshadow palette. Petra puts out a new eyeshadow like holiday line every year. Every year I get it. Every year I'm obsessed. Although last year I wasn't like as in love as I am this year. This is a good one. In fact, I probably need to go back and get a second one just to have it on hand. Um, but these eyeshadow palettes are pretty much all I use. Um, I'll buy, like randomly buy other ones, but it's just the colors are so great for every day. But then she kind of throws in some stuff where you can mix your look up a little bit. You can create a night look. The pigment's really great. She includes um, like uh, metallics. This time she has a lot of metallics in it. She includes mattes. She includes like a highlighter and a cheek product. Um, I love it. In fact, whenever I travel, it's so easy just to grab this and know that I can just I'll have like stuff I can put on for like day to day, like natural wear. But if I wanted my makeup to look a little bit prettier or we're going somewhere, there's something in here that I can do that with. That would be a great gift and it's not that expensive. So definitely check that out. Um, let's talk about this. All right. So I talk about this color often. Um, I'm a huge fan of Rimmel's lip liner. It's the color Easton Snob. I've been wearing it for probably 10 plus years. It's a really good like neutral pinkish mauve color. It's great for spring. It's great for summer. It's great for fall. It's great for winter. It's great for many different skin tones. Um, and it has like a buttery consistency to it. So whenever you put it on, it's not like a sharpened one that's a little bit harder and drags across your lip. It's a very smooth almost like a cross between a lipstick and a liner. So typically I will line my lips with that and then color it in or like slap some chapstick over the top of it and call it a day. I'm always looking for other lip products like a lipstick or gloss that matches that color because I love that color so much and I found it right here. It's beautiful. Um, this is, is Maybelline's 24 hour color stay. I'm wearing it right now. In fact, I think like the last like three or so vlogs I have worn this color. I wore this in our recent family pictures that we just had taken so that I could kiss and love my boys and I didn't get lipstick all over their face. Um, this is a color stay product, but it doesn't smell alcoholish like some of the other ones do. It hasn't dried my lips out. I feel like when I use some of the other ones in the past, my lips were jacked for like a month or so and I would have to work so hard to get them back to like a healthy condition. This hasn't done this. Um, and on the other side of it, it has like almost like a chapstick. Let me see if it'll focus. There it goes. Uh, chapstick looking applicator type thing, but it's not really chapstick. It, it looks like chapstick, but it's more glossy. It goes on like that. This doesn't stay on forever and you do have to reapply this throughout the day, but it's no big deal. And the thing is, whenever I, like when this wears off, the chapstick slash gloss thing wears off, my lips don't feel like they're going to just like crack and bleed everywhere like they have with other products like this. It feels fine, um, but it definitely feels better when that's on it. So I love this. I will leave this down below. Oh, I didn't tell you the color. The color is, um, oh my gosh, I can't see it. Something mauve. Oh, I'll leave it down below. Uh, other beauty products. All right, I think this one's a little bit, like it's kind of silly, it's not necessary, but I've really enjoyed having this. It's Lumify by Bausch & Lomb. So they 
claim that they will make your eyes look like glittery, white, shiny, beautiful with these little drops right here. And it's not cheap. This little bottle was 20 bucks. It hurt me to buy it. But I've been having so many issues with redness in my eyes. My eyes are so irritated and dry and red, especially by the end of the day. I think it's because of the school I'm in. The air conditioner and like walking up and down the halls and like the wind blowing in my eyes. It's, it's really happened in the last year or so. Um, but I got these, I try not to use them that often because I don't think it's like probably the most natural, like great thing for your eyes. But you know, this is gonna sound weird. Here's when I use it. If I'm going somewhere and I want my makeup to look really pretty, I know it's weird. I'll put a couple drops of this and it makes my eyes like white as day in seconds. If I'm filming a video and I remember, I'll grab this and drop some in my eyes. I did before I recorded today and it clears the redness up in seconds. And it just like, it cools my, oh, it just feels great. It works great, it's expensive, but I love it. So I will link this down below as well. All right, let's talk about a product I really love. So I mentioned before that I will do a lip liner with chapstick over it. My most favorite chapstick is made by a company called Moon Valley Organics. Recently, I got on their website and purchased a bunch of other things from them. This is one of the things I picked up. Sorry, it's so bright. Um, but it just says Moon Valley Organics on here. This is a tin and inside it has a lotion bar. I think is what they call it. Very simple. It looks like soap, but it's actually smooth like butter. You kind of warm it in your hands and it's really good for cuticles, for dry chapped hands. I keep one next to my bed so I can put it on my hands at nighttime. It's great for feet. My boys, um, their skin gets really chapped on their faces. Like my youngest, he'll get really red, dry cheeks, and my oldest will get like white, flaky skin around his lips. I've been rubbing that on their faces before school and at nighttime. It's really helped a lot. I will say when you put it on, it's a bit like, can you see the shine? It's kind of greasy. So it takes a second for it to work itself into your skin. But the fact that it's like that, it just kind of stays on longer. And I feel like it moisturizes better. And that's why it's really good for cuticles and feet and elbows. So I was so happy with this. I went back onto their website and I ordered uh, one for all of my friends along with a soap and along with a chapstick. So everybody's getting the same thing for Christmas, but it, I think it'll be a great gift. And the smell I really love and that one, cause I've tried several other ones, but I really love the lavender. It's a very like safe smell. It's not too overpowering. It really just smells like a spa. It smells so good. Um, so definitely if you haven't checked out Moon Valley Organics, I would do so. What else should I show you? <gasps> I know, all right. This is gonna be a little bit lengthy because there's a lot of a lot of things in this one to show, but here we go. Recently, I went to my dermatologist for a checkup, and when I was in there, I said, hey, I have tried so many things for my skin, and I feel like everything says it's gonna do X, Y, Z, but usually, like, barely does one of those things. Nothing really is working for me, and I really wanna focus on my skin a lot more, put more, like, effort and attention into this face because I, I'm not getting older. I mean, I'm not... <laughs> I am getting older. I'm not getting younger. So they brought a specialist in. They really looked my skin over for a while, um, kind of asked me a bunch of questions, and then we came up with a game plan for how to best tackle this right here. So, and I think it's harder to see on camera, but you can definitely see on Insta stories, and I do a lot of Insta stories without makeup, but I have like some acne scarring right here. I think you can see that. Um, and again, on this side, my skin has a, is very pale, but has a lot of red and pink undertones in it. And it gets very like right here on this line, I have red patches and right over here along my neck and my chin. Um, that just is what it is. So, oh, I was gonna show you this. Over here, I'm starting to get like a darker spot, like an age spot, I guess. So yeah, it's time. It, it should have been time a long time ago. I don't know why I've waited so long. So here's what I left with. I actually left with a bunch of samples. I became obsessed. I was so happy with what I saw in just a week. I went back and bought the full size product. My, uh, my doctor carries Elta. I think it's pretty common with most dermatologists to carry this brand. You can also find it on Amazon, although just like be smart about who you're purchasing for from because I read reviews on it. It is cheaper if you get it on Amazon, um, but some vendors are maybe not selling like the right product. So just be smart about which ones you buy from. People are pretty good about reviewing that kind of stuff. And as a whole, it's really not that expensive compared to what some skin products can be. Um, but I'm so happy with it. So I picked up their PM moisturizer. 
their AM moisturizer and this one has SPF 40 in it which I really thought would make my makeup look like goopy and cakey and yuck it has it in fact it, it's a great primer and it has made my makeup look so much more smoother and wear well throughout the day um, I picked up Elta's um, I cream gel stuff and then my dermatologist carries another brand that's more focused on like aging skin and it's called I think it's called skin medica I could be saying that wrong but I think it's skin medica I'll list all of this down below in the description box so I picked up a vitamin a and c serum from that line as well as a retinol cream from that line as well now my dermatologist in the past which was a different one prescribed me a retinol cream and really I feel like retinol is just kind of great for skin is like a really good resurfacing product and I should have been using it for a long time but I stopped using the one that they gave me because it was so strong and my skin was peeling so bad and when I talked to the dermatologist about it this time she said there's different products you can get with different amounts that you can kind of like work yourself into and they don't have to be so harsh on your skin and cause such like a drastic peeling phase that happens in the beginning and so far this has been great I mean I have had like little peels but it's been very small and I can just use an exfoliator and it goes away and my skin looks great so so far I've noticed that the amount like my pore size has shrinken a little bit I have very large pores unfortunately but they have gotten smaller and um the overall like like my skin has become softer and smoother and the redness has died has died down a little bit it's only been three weeks and I think I probably need a little bit more time to like you know fully let things kind of work their way out um, but I'm super happy with these so far and uh, yeah that was a good buy all right is that all the beauty stuff Oh, I have one other thing that I don't have here, but I did want to tell you about. Um, so this is something new. People have been using this for a long time, but I recently have gotten into using coconut oil, not only for cooking, but more for like my body. Uh, my husband has really bad eczema and gets some bad, like right around here, his hairline on his face. He's been using it. I've been using it on my boys as lotion for them. Um, I use it in the shower as shaving gel. I add coconut sugar to it and make, there's a package here. Tis the season. I wonder what people think like when they come up to the door and they hear me talking so loudly about random products. I mean, they don't know. Maybe I have like people sitting in my living room and I'm like, huh, coconut oil guys, it's the best. All right, they're gone. Okay, anyways, so I have um, added coconut oil to like a uh, coconut sugar and made like a lip scrub. I have loved it. In fact, I've become a bit obsessed with this whole like taking care of my skin. Using this for as lotion has been great as well. Um, kind of focusing on taking care of like moisturizing my skin and using products like that. And I want to start making my own lotion. So I have purchased all of the things to do it. I just need to do it. I have the recipe for it and stuff. So I'm hopefully going to do that this month. If it works out well and I'm happy with it, I will definitely share with you guys because from what I've seen, it seems like it's pretty easy and kind of amazing and very cost effective effective all right that's it for coconut oil let's talk about this purse so during black friday we went to um we went to old navy and did some damage for us for me my husband and our boys at old navy and i i've not talked about this on here but my car was broken into a little while ago and my purse was stolen it was a purse i'd had for many years and absolutely loved and i have not purchased one since because i haven't come across one that's like tickled my fancy but this one definitely tickled my fancy um i just like that it's simple it's very slender it has a crossbody strap but then I also have the ability just to like pick it up, which I love that. Um, and how I always pick purses now is, um, can I fit a book in it? And yes, yes my friends, I can nicely fit a book in this purse. In fact, I could fit probably two, maybe three books in here. So that's a win in my, uh, in my category. Or what, what, what am I trying to say? I don't know. So um, I have my wallet in here. I have a little makeup bag and that's it. It's been great. I love it. It's simple. It's cute. So I got it in this color, obviously, but I also picked up, they have like a cognac, like brown one that I picked up as well. Um, and it's not expensive. I got 50% off because it was Black Friday, so I only paid $15 for it. But I regularly, it's only 30 and I would definitely pay 30 bucks for this. I've been very, very happy with it. Um, let's talk about... Let's talk about my watch. Shall we talk about my watch? 
This is another Black Friday buy as well. I love her. This is a Versa. So it's a Fitbit Versa. I got on Instagram and asked people if they have been enjoying their Versa. Should I, shouldn't I? Do you need a smartwatch? Blah, blah, blah. People, okay, I have an Android at first, first off, so I won't get an Apple Watch. Um, it's not an option for me, but people that have an Apple Watch absolutely love their Apple Watches, but it's not an option for me. And the Android version is really not as great as the Apple one, so I didn't really want to get an Android smartwatch. Um, and in the beginning, everybody's like, yeah, I have Versa, I love it, blah, blah, blah. So then I came on and said on Instagram, I'm not going to get it. Thank you for giving me your opinions about stuff. Nobody really seems like that crazy about it. Um, to where I want to spend the money on it. So, you know, whatever. Then the next day I woke up and my inbox was just filled with people loving on their Versa. And there was a great deal at Kohl's and there was like cash back plus 20% off, blah, blah, blah. So it was there and I was there and I got it. And I am not looking back. Oh my gosh, why did I wait so long to get this? It is stinking fabulous. Now, I, I wasn't crazy about wearing this because of fashion purposes which is so silly because i'm not like a fashion kind of a gal but i love to wear chunky bracelets and i knew with this i wouldn't be able to do it and it's very uncomfortable to wear on this wrist because when you write it knocks against everything but whatever it's fine i've loved being able to check my text messages from here and i can also reply but with like very short like prompted wording like okay or something like that I have loved being able to monitor my sleep at night. So every day I wake up and I am affirmed that yes, I am not getting enough sleep and like good quality sleep. I can track water. I can track my menstruation cycle. That's hard to say. Menstruation cycle. Okay. That sounds like you want to repeat over and over again and say slowly, but I just did so. Anyways, I can track that on here. And I, that's something like I struggle with. I try to keep up with it in my calendar, but I don't, I'm not so great at it. So I just click a button, right? It's all right here for me. I can pay for um, Starbucks with this thing. I love that I keep up with my, even like the simplest things of like keeping up with your steps during the day. And if I'm like not meeting my goal, I get it vibrates and says, 42 more steps to go this hour. And you best believe my booty gets up and I'm sitting there stepping in place while I'm watching a YouTube video or whatever it is. I am over the moon with this thing and we're just getting started. I haven't like fully used it to all of its capabilities. I'm still learning about it. Um, I've ordered bands to replace this one because I'm not really a pink kind of a girl, but the more I wear it, I, I'm kind of digging it. I feel like it kind of blends in with stuff and doesn't like stand out as much. Anyways, if you're on the fence about this, I say you do it. And once I kind of have a better feel for all that it offers, I might do like a more like in depth of what I like about it kind of video if you want to see. All right, Fitbit Versa is a different, definite win this month. Now I have a really random thing for you. Um, this is for all the dog lovers out there. If you have a dog that is having issues with ear infections, itchy ears, shaking their head, pawing out their ears, that's my Mabel, that's our sheep -a doodle She's got these big floppy ears and she has so much hair inside of her ears. It's so hard to keep the hair out and then to keep the wax from not getting caught and it's just like it starts to smell yucky and we've taken her to the vet she's been tested for stuff and they haven't really found a lot so I don't really I haven't come across a fix for it but this has fixed it like immediately um, I found this on Amazon it's on prime but it took a little bit of time to get to me it's a huge bottle it's not that expensive it's all like natural good ingredients and all I do is just drop it in her ear and then massage her ear do the same for the other one. She shakes her head a little bit and then we're done. And she does so well with it. It's like instantly she stops shaking her head and pawing at her ears. The smell is gone. I do need to do it like, all right, I'm back. My camera died. Okay. So I was saying that I need to do this twice a week. And if I don't, um, I can tell like she starts to do like the head shake thing again. So it's something I have to stay on top of, but I'm so happy with this. I wanted to, sh am I showing you the wrong side? I was, um, but I wanted to share this with you just in case somebody out there is having an issue like that with their dog or, you know, somebody please pass it on to them. It's a great product. <gasps> did we get through everything? I think we did. All right, high five for another round of um, favorites. That's the second one. Yay for October, November, and I can't wait to see what this December holds because it's like Christmas month. There should be lots of good stuff this month. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. All right, bye everybody.